Okay, so let's go back to Embark. So, Piero. And then just somebody random. I guess we could bring Scoobs and Raggy. They're... Yeah, sure. Let's bring Scoobs and Raggy along. Okay, so this, this group does not have much for healing. Um, but that could be fine. We could do... We could see if I could do a short one. That's a long. That's a short in the wield. And we do not want to go to level 3 Warrens. That could kick kick my ass. Maybe? We might be okay. I'm still being kind of slow. Abomination works best with Hellion. And no, four abominations will never work. <sighs> that sucks. Okay. Well, let's provision this group and hopefully they'll be fine. It's short, so we don't need to be as aggressive. And we're going in the wield. Wield is kind of all over the place. I generally prefer the Warrens of the Runes because it's either medicinal water, uh, medicinal herbs or holy water. Uh, whereas the wields just like bring everything, but like a little bit of everything. Ice bandages, anti venom, keys, holy water. Yeah. I mean, worst comes to worst, we toss them if we don't need them. Uh, I got torches. I've got everything. Oh, no medicinal. Oh, I had extra medicinal herbs. Well, I guess we can use it to get rid of debuffs. At the very least. What is this and how do you play? This is Darkest Dungeon. How do you play? By dying a lot. It's hard. It's fun, though. It's way fun. We gotta remember to use a doggy treat here. The doggy treat's pretty dang good. But yeah, hopefully this will give... Explore 90% of the rooms. I I like the explore 90% of rooms uh, requirement, but it's really rough. Uh, can I can I pan this around? No, I can't. I guess we're gonna go back a little bit just because. Nature herself, a victim to the spreading corruption, malformed. And yeah, this is the bleed team. In retrospect, I probably should have checked to see if the uh, the wield was a uh, a viable place to even bring this group. Yeah, I gotta go here. Okay, so we got a trap right here. Who's good at trap disarm? You are, apparently. I guess it makes sense, kind of having a dog to figure it out. As soon as you can, get 100% stress flagellant. Try it out. I'm just worried that it would, like, uh, screw over the rest of my party. I can try it someday. I just don't know if it's gonna work. So this game's like Dark Souls. Yeah, kinda. Um, Dark Souls is much probably harder to master. This one, this one's kind of more of like uh, knowledge is mastery than um, than like truly difficult. Once you actually know what you're doing, for the most part, it's actually fairly reasonable. Like I think I've only actually lost one character, and I'm not even sure how. Shit, does anybody remember how di uh, the original Dismas died off? Because I'd swear it wasn't... It wasn't one of my... Like, it wasn't an action on my part that killed off Dismas. Okay, he sometimes gets a big damage buff. But other times he... Uh, drives the whole party mad. Or not drives the whole party mad, just does a ton of damage to the party. Eh. Risky. Yeah, these guys have fairly hefty bleed resist. That's rough. Well. I'm just gonna hit these guys. They might bleed. They might not. Vulnerability hex. Unfortunately, they're probably gonna split. Oh, I forgot. Well, solo! Balls. This just got bad. This is kind of the worst. Oh, I kicked him off the team because he had so many crazy issues. I forgot about that. Well, guess I'll hit him. Go back and we'll just... 
buff the team or something like that. Okay. Hounds Harry. How many people bleed? Oh, luckily they're, um... Luckily they're locked, sort of. Well, not locked. Clears all enemy corpses. This sucks. We are kind of... I'm not going to say we're doomed already, but this is a bad place to be. At least we've got a, a fairly good healer combo. Alright, let's do Battle Ballad. I wish... You can't buff Battle Ballad. Can you? I don't think you can. Alright, well, we gotta mark this guy one way or another. Pummel him. Because he needs to go down, but yeah, I screwed up in a lot of cases. There we go. Okay, so he's gonna die. And we gotta focus on the first guy. Unfortunately, I don't think we got a stun either. Okay, we could do a solo. Let's see if I can do a solo. I was really hoping it would finish off the guy in the back. Kill him. Thank you. Bleed? Damn. Okay. Luckily, Hounds Rush can be used from practically anywhere. That's awesome. Okay, this works out. Okay. <laughs> that was scary. I forgot the wield has pretty hefty uh, bleed resist. Which is not great. Okay, uh, let's go back to the default party order. No! Oh, I forgot! I forgot he was stupid. I, I forgot he's got, um, Paranorma Mania or whatever it is. Well, that's... Mm. Okay, let me guess. No, actually these guys have pretty low bleed resist. It's Blight on this end. Battle Ballad! Okay, do we want to do a Hound's Harry? Does a fair amount of damage. I'll stun this guy. I forgot he could actually stun. But yeah, seeing as we got the Occultist to mark, we might as well do marking. Uh, who's probably the most nuisance? Actually, probably the Rabid Nasher. Bleed? Thank you. Four damage. He'll die. Okay, let's do a Vulnerability Hex on... him. Because, yeah, the Houndmaster can go after him. I really like the Houndmaster. Didn't somebody say the Houndmaster used to be, like, completely ridiculous? Great is the weapon that cuts on its own. I don't remember. I mean, it doesn't really matter that much, but still. Okay, so we should probably look into healing soon. Guess we could do a solo. Solo! Okay, so... Let's do a weird reconstruction. Actually, why did I do weird reconstruction on this guy? Ah, shit. Whatever. And that didn't kill him. But it did get him with a bleed. Not enough, though. I don't know what I was thinking. This is a solid team, though. Way more, um... Way more dynamic than I thought they were... The... Yeah, thought it used to be. Or th thought it was going to be. Like, I thought the Houndmaster wasn't going to have that many interesting abilities. And I was, like, afraid of the Flagellant. It looks like we're actually in a decent spot. Gonna be taking some damage here, but... This is like the... This is the self-heal team. Okay. Let's do weird reconstruction on self. Wow, we are getting some crazy good heals from that. And we can do reclaim... We can do exsanguinate. Exsanguinate! Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Yeah, because he can heal himself. I really feel like the Flagellant belongs in a completely different game, maybe. Give them no quarter. Could be wrong, though. It's just like that, that substantial self-heal is just... It's so strong, it can't be anything else. Okay, so he's got the... Oh. Interesting. Did they change Finale? I thought Finale made it so his 
damage sucked, but his dodge is just stupid low. All right. This is working great, and my guys are just bleed resisting. Okay, there we go. This is how a life is taken. Now we have a pristine fount fountain. Presumably, we can holy water it if we wanted to. Here, I'm gonna have him holy. Wa I don't have any holy water. Help! Oh, touch it. I think if you touch it with holy water, maybe it lo you lose a perk. Oh, butts. Well, uh, it's a bad. You must rely on flesh, an indefatigable purpose. Guess I should have saved that uh, thing. Okay, well, medicinal herbs. We get a shit ton of food. Hot damn, that's nice. Okay, that went badly. I mean, we'll be okay. Our, our stress is looking fine. Looking worse. Gonna be fine. Do we even bother? I'm not even gonna bother. We really do not need, like, a ton of bonus food. Remember, overconfidence is a slow, insidious killer. <sighs> Turns out that's actually... Oh, shit. I keep forgetting. Well, whatever. Okay, let's do a vulnerability hex. 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 I'm one of these guys. Oh, right. Doesn't he... There's also, like, the Eldritch Artillery that we should probably load up here, now that I'm thinking about it. Well, that'll be for a later date. Now, well, at least the character that can self-heal substantially is the one getting wailed on. Ooh, boy, that's actually a lot of damage. Be gone, fiend. I gotta remember to move the Jester's ability around. Maybe not, though. This is actually working out fairly well, so let's get rid of... Spit. One of the spitters. Keep going for the spit. Okay, so we could do an Insanguinate. Let's do Insanguinate on you! That works out. I like the fact that he can heal himself, though. That is an incredibly useful perk. Okay, I guess we could do Inspiring Tune. I forgot, we got a Jester along, so stress damage is not nearly as uh, painful as it normally is. Okay, and I guess a Vulnerability Hex, which will kill him, surprisingly. And we get goodies. Whole bunch. Um, Did I just forget to bring my Holy Water along? I must uh well, this is a troubling effigy, and unfortunately, again, forgot my holy water back at home, somehow. Well, at least we don't have to worry about running out of food. Wealth Turns out, measure. these guys have many the issues. The Let's get rid of the bandage. We don't need it that bad. Keep popping torches. Oh, we're out of torches. Well, we're almost done anyway. This might get a little spook spooky, just for a bit. So I think I'm going to use the Jester to de-stress people. Oh, we can already start with an insane a sanguination. Which, he resists the bleed, but we'll be okay. Too bad a battle ballad. Okay, vulnerability hex on him. Time for a doggy treat. Yeah, probably. Alright, let's pop that doggy treat. Yeah, damn, that's that's incredibly good. Hand rush. Executed with impunity. Unfortunately, he is going to proliferate into that freaking thing. Ah, uh, whatever. Okay, um, let's just start de-stressing. This group isn't so bad. Okay. Hounds Harry, Target Whistle, Blackjack. Balls. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Okay. I think 
I actually don't know what the large ectoplasm can do. Big slime. Ow. Is that like Big Zam? It hurt. That's for certain. Okay, so we've got that. I guess we'll just keep doing inspiring tunes. I want to keep the Houndmaster down because I'm probably going to be using the Houndmaster and the Occultist again fairly soon. Okay, Houndrush. Demon's pull, weird reconstruction. I guess we'll do weird reconstruction seeing as Jesus. I've been maxing out those heals like crazy. I was not expecting them to work out that well. Can the big guy split? I have no idea. Inspiration. Okay, yeah, so his dress is looking good. Uh, how long is he marked? I'll just mark him again, just in case. Yeah, I'm really liking the Houndmaster. He's got some fun abilities to work with, and I think the, uh, the doggy treat is a fun idea. Okay, we're still not done. That wasn't even a room battle. Well, despite the fact that it's dark, we're actually doing fine. So I saw somebody go through an endless loop of slimes before. I've definitely done that before. I think my first trip to the Weald ever, I almost got completely wiped by uh, slimes. Okay, so on guard. Hylomania. Material things. Weald phobe. Okay, so we gotta work on... Um, we gotta work on the... Uh, a fresh irritant. The clown, and I gotta work on the other guy. Okay, so Pain Train has gotta get rid of Paranormania. Oh, God, that's so expensive. Piero, Plutomania, and Hylomania. Well, we gotta get rid of both. Okay. Oh, finally, a Hellion, who we can't fit in the party. Hmm. Heroes can be found even here, in the mud and rain. Oh, that's how we do it. Let's do a four for six and another four for six. Okay, there we go. Now we can get this. Roster, so now we can finally get a Hellion. Yes. Okay. And she's kind of crappy. Well, I'll stick with her anyway. We've also got Stanley the Apprentice Occultist. Ish. Meh, whatever. Okay, uh, so Scoops and Raggy can be upgraded again. Absolutely worth it. Granite Face, Clubia, Dr. Bees. Hmm. How's Velma doing? Yeah, let's get rid of Hand for the Abyss in favor of Abyssal Artillery. Yeah, it seems worth it. Uh, which one do we want to get? Probably... Let's get rid of uh, Hands from the Abyss in favor of Abyssal Artiller Artillery. Because Hands from the Abyss costs me uh, Torchlight anyway. And I don't like that. Okay. So that'll help. So we got Scoobs and Raggy. They're doing fine. Honestly, everybody from that uh, that group was fairly de-stressed after it. Okay. Do we have enough? I think we do. Okay. So let's go to the Abbey. Let's get rid of this. Not the Abbey. Shoot. Let's go to Embark. We got Velma. We got Scoob Scoobs and Raggy. Okay. We want Daphne. And we want Fred. Open season. Funny. Okay, so for starters, good. We've redone the skills. You. Let's get rid of... Bola's not that useful. And have I upgraded her... Equipment at all? Yes, she's upgraded. Fred's upgraded... 
Okay, so that's good. So this is a perfect, perfect opportunity. So we're going back into the Warrens. <laughs> Bolo's not that useful. Bolo will remember this. Shh. Let's see, how does one qualify for the re roster to be murdered by me? I actually, um... I actually prefer kind of fun, jokey, meme names instead of people's specific names. Because they're way more interesting to have, like, effectively the entire cast of Scooby-Doo right now. Or, uh, Mr. Well, maybe not Mr. Granite Face. He's a little bit on the lame side. Oh, okay, so we gotta get rid of some of these things. Don't really care about the bloodied fetish. Let's always sell that. Um, I guess let's back out of this so I can do some things. Let's see if I put Scrappy in yet. No. Okay, so Dismas 2. Yeah, we'll give it to Dismas 2. Do we even want it? Because that reduces his stun resist, like, a lot. Just for, like, a 10% damage bonus on range skills, which he doesn't even use? Pass? Okay, what else can we do? Speed, move, resist. Oh. Um. Let's go on to Daphne for some of these. Let's, let's focus... Whoops. Let's focus on Daphne here. Giving her the extra speed is useful. She'll probably be the one to mark uh, for the other characters. Do you got any other speed bonuses? that I can toss on. Nope. Okay. Uh, so next up we want Pain Train. Reduces his speed, but the extra bleed skill chance seems worth it. Dodge, debuff resist, bonus max HP. Oh, he's, he's already got uh, one of the Swift Cloaks. It's probably worth it. Dismiss. The extra melee skills could be useful. Does hurt his dodge by a little bit, but I'll live. Crit and dodge. Well, if that's the case... Move resist, move skill chance, debuff skill chance. Okay. Let's get rid of the debuff stone. And give him the solar bracer. And do we sell some of these things? Oh, actually, some of these are class specific. So let's give him both of them. Extra stun skill chance. Extra... Ch yeah, sure. Uh, and who's this for? Grave Robber. It looks like the uh, class-specific ones are actually fairly decent. Who's this for? Crusader, and it's rare. I'll take it. So protection, speed... Honestly, not really feeling the protection and speed. So we'll just sell that. Okay, that's better. Oh, Occultist Mark. Massive damage on everybody uh, else. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Okay, Daphne. Take this off. Let's go back to Velma. I actually forgot about Velma. Velma speeds up to 8. Okay, that should work. And who did I just take off? Scoobs, Scoobs and Shaggy. Okay, open season. Let's try this. So, we're going into the Warrens. Warrens is medicinal herbs and holy water. And then a ton of food. Hopefully I won't have to spend a whole lot of money here. Uh, or hopefully I will I will be able to recoup some of my losses. I've been spending a lot. Worth it. Oh yeah, it was a ton of things. Okay. Try Arbalist, Antiquarian, Abomination, and Hellion. Uh, sure. I just gotta get the, uh... They breed quickly down there I just gotta get the Hellion to not be garbage. Slay them even faster. Okay, so we gotta do room battles. That's gonna be annoying. Oh, this would be worth it. It should be a fun, fun combo. Okay, so who starts? Occultist. Yes. Vulnerability Hex. On who? Fusilier. Fusilier. Screw this guy in particular. Oh, not for the party, just for the name. Good to know. Um... 
I guess I'll mark this guy for death. Okay, so sniper shot on him. There we go. And Houndmaster. Didn't kill him. Got him with a bleed. Bleed's not enough, though. That sucks. Well, we'll be fine. How useful is the wiki link with all the curios? Incredibly. I've got a really nice uh, spreadsheet now. Uh, that gets... It's like color coded, uh, color coded, and everything. At some point, I'll, I might uh, throw it up on on my Discord and have people uh, take a look and be like, "Okay, this could be improved like this way and whatever." But for the most part, it's uh, worked out okay. And we're getting hammered a little bit. Okay, do we do suppressing fire? No. Let's do. Do I do sniper's mark? Do I do suppressing fire? I guess I'll do a sniper's mark. Okay. I'll cultist, vulnerability hex. I'll set him up for the next round. There we go. Collect bounty. Yeah. That's good. The guys with knives are deadlier than the ones with guns. Good to know. Well, abyssal are. Artillery, I guess. Doesn't really help as much as I thought it was going to. Well, come hither? Come hither! Not that he wasn't going to die immediately anyway, but I couldn't hit him otherwise. Bounty Hunter item. It ain't good. It's kind of kind of worthless. Yeah. I'll err on the side of nah. We don't need it that much. Okay. So let's see what we've got around here. Nothing. Let's complete 100% of room battles, yeah? Yeah. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. Okay. So we want to do vulnerability hex on that swine drummer. Yeah, we've taken some hits already. I guess we could just stun one of these guys. Let's stun one of these guys. At least we'll be okay. Did that? Oh. It just marks them. Okay. Should probably pop a torch now that I'm looking at it. Okay, hound rush. Yeah, we should, uh... Hmm. We'll do suppressing fire. That should... Yeah, that'll make the pig drummer die. That's a trick. Okay. Yeah, we should probably start doing some uh, weird reconstruction. Unfortunately, since I don't have a direct healer... Well, correction, I do have a direct healer. Why is he so good? It must be, like, weighted on the high, high levels or something. That's the only thing I can uh, attribute it to. Okay, so let's mark... No. Oh. I guess I'll just shoot this guy. He's almost dead. I almost wish there was a, a bonus damage on bleeding enemies or something like that. Like, uh... Oh, jeez. I don't even know how it would be done. Oh, more weird reconstruction. It really must be weighted on the, on the top. There's no... other way I could explain it. Damn. Higher rank of the occultist heal, higher bleed chance and damage. But isn't I'll have to look at uh, how the how the occultist heal works, because I think it also heals you like substantially more too. So it's kind of still worth the risk. Oh, fun! Uh, who's got a negative? Wield foe, blight resist. He doesn't have any negative quirks. Fear of beasts. Bad gambler. Dodge. Yeah, we'll get rid of her fear of beasts. What's up with the dinner cart? If I remember right, dinner cart is, yeah, medicinal herbs. Do we even? Sure, we'll do it. We're taking some damage here, so it might not be a bad idea. It was not a bad idea. Okay, and trap disarm 
Never maxed to five rank. Not worth the bleed damage. Yeah, I think I got up to... I think I stopped at four on my previous playthrough. Okay. Let's do a vulnerability hex. We've got to take out the swine chopper. Oh, which counts as human. Interesting. Well, that's cool. Didn't know that. Ugh, we're going to pick up a disease here. I know it. Tapeworm! Who called it? I did. Okay, so he'll die. We crit. Good stuff. I wonder what the, um... The rhyme and reason behind enemies dropping corpses are. I actually wouldn't be surprised if they just haven't modeled it for certain things. Like, they don't actually have, like, a... A specific image for the the pigs being uh, leaving corpses behind so they don't I could actually see that being completely sensible okay well hands rush the back whale on the front oh interesting but he doesn't uh so these guys leave corpses uh, but these guys also don't count as beasts. That's different. That works out. Okay, so we're starting to max out our inventory here a little bit. Well, honestly, we should probably start cramming some of this food into our face. Like, damn. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Um, okay, so let's... Throw on the helmet. Take this off. Put it on him. Throw on the helmet on him. Oh, you can't have dupes. That's an interesting problem. Okay, so let's get rid of the bandage. Honestly, let's get rid of the unmovable helmet. Can't carry any more crests. Why are crests the, like the most common thing ever? I have no idea. Well, I could use more, but I'm not going to. Okay, 100% of room battle, so we got to go to this one. Wealth beyond measure, awarded to the brave and the foolhardy okay. alike. Well, life is going good. We are covered in goodies. Wait, what? I can't... Huh. That's why I always have trouble with portraits. I can only carry up to three. Oh. Well, that's kind of butts. Okay, well... Vulnerability hacks him. Eh, drums of doom. Honestly, it's not that big of a deal. Pop a torch. Pop a murder. Almost. This works out actually fairly well. Ow. Okay. Uh, do we wanna? Let's go for the swine drummer. Probably the guy in the back would be worth killing. Maybe. Just because diseases. But I'll live. Diseases can be cured. Death, not so much though. So. Okay, so let's do another vulnerability hex. I guess we could always heal him. But no, I'll work on the swine sh slasher. And he missed completely. Or more so, they dodged sound somehow. You know, I don't think I've ever noticed that the swine drummer has like a weird face on his drum. I think I never, ever like acknowledged that. Funky. That's neat. Actually, rather appreciate that. Okay, who goes first? We go first, Abyssal Artillery. Yeah! Corpses are a random chance. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me that much if they are a random chance. Okay, unfortunately, I can't do anything with that. Makeshift dining table. 
Do I even? A fortune waiting to be spent. Well. Doesn't look like I can heal him anymore. Okay, well that's the extent of what I can do. Apparently. And we already got that one. Okay. Back we go. Looking good. Yeah, this is a good team. I like I like this. I really like this game. It's the match is strong. It's formulaic and maybe a little bit repetitive. Uh, for better or worse. But it's so incredibly well made that I have a hard time caring too much. Let's uppercut this guy. Let's vulnerability hex this one. There we go. Okay, corpses are not a random chance. Big enemies bleed blight and crit death never leave corpses. Good to know. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. Okay. Uh, mark the guy in the back. I don't, I don't even know if you can attack from back there. Probably with ball and chain now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. So do we do demon pull? Nah, vulnerability hex. I really wish there was a way to like, mark a whole team or something like that. That'd be incredibly good. Maybe a little bit on the overpowered side of things. So does that knock her back? No, it just stuns her. Okay. Can't do much. Come hither! Or blind flyer. Blind fire! Didn't work. Well I'll try it. Uh I guess we'll use a weird reconstruction. And my characters are pretty good at resisting that bleed effect. I like that. That is not nearly as much damage as I would have hoped for. Oh well, that's fine. And we get some blood. Maybe I should start uh, hoarding blood here. So do we pop a torch? Yeah, let's pop a torch. We've got a camp that we can use anyway. But yeah, I'm probably going to be doing Crimson Court stuff fairly soon. Oh, that wasn't even the end. Uh, it's a bandage for the rack of blades. So that's not even, that's not worth it. Nothing here, and scout. I was really hoping it would scout a little bit past. I want to know if this like little dongle just hanging off the bottom is worth going for. Moonshine barrel. Yes, no. Medicinal herbs. I mean, we could. It's more food. Do we even care about food? No, but it gets rid of the medicinal herbs. So I'll take it. And it gets us a buff. Oh, we dodged it. Okay. I always forget about the trap. Oh, good. More scouting. And good. We can completely bypass that one uh, side route. Okay. Lady, you need you need to die. You know it. Everybody knows it. I'm actually looking forward to higher difficulties with this group, uh, with enemies that are a little bit um, tougher. Do we even mark? I guess we could always just uppercut one of these guys. Stuns are viable, right? Yeah, worth it. Okay. Sniper shot. Not enough damage. Well, we tried. We do also have target whistle. No, that's no... Well. Guess I didn't need to shoot him with the r -blast. <laughs> Oh, well. I mean, I'm kind of used to that point, though. It's just like, oh, well, that was kind of a wasted action right before. But that's fine. I wonder, have they, um... Have they actually talked at all about uh, what they're working on after this game? Or uh, am I incorrect in my assumption that they're done with it? I guess they could actually be making another DLC for this game. Good 
Because, I don't know. Whoa, that was a crit. That man did not last. Let's pop a heal here. Um, blind fire on the only guy which we miss. What is the accuracy? Oh, accuracy base is really low. Go figure. We never hit with it. Yeah, I'm curious whether or not I'd I'd want another DLC for this. I guess we'd have to see uh, how uh, we'd have to see how Crimson Court goes. Yeesh. I forgot carrion eaters are hor freaking horrifying. Okay. I don't even remember what they have. We gotta go after the carrion eater though. Or not the carrion eater, the the drummer. Oh. Arbalist bandages. I forgot the Arbalist has bandages. I'll have to take a look at her available maneuvers. Let's just try hitting one of these things. Yeah, figured as much. We do enough damage. Okay, let's do a suppressing fire. There we go. Yeah, I like suppressing fire. It's not actually that good. But at least it's like semi-reliable. What are you gonna do? Give me another dread disease? Actually, it very well could. That'd be a problem. Okay, sniper shot, can't do much of anything. I guess, ah, uh, I really wish she could mark the, the front one. Well, blind fire. I wonder if that doesn't target corpses, now that I'm looking at it. Interesting question. I don't know. I'll pop a torch and take this one. Okay, unlock strong box. Going for it. And we get goodies. So if this doesn't fit. Uh I don't actually know which which one's better in that situation. Well, we'll just keep going. Okay, there's our answer. Seems silly to pick that up, but that's okay. You can actually, uh, disarm that from quite some distance away. Uh, for better or worse, holy water. I have a lot of dudes. Okay, drums of debilitation. That's just a D. Oh, no, that marks him. Maybe stresses him out? Hard to say. Do we even do a vulnerability hex? Hex? Nah. I'll just use Abyssal Artillery, which is dang good. I'm just gonna wail on these guys. If I remember right, yeah, Fred can pretty much always kill them. Mortality clarified in a single strike. That freaking... that word? The mortality clarified in a single strike thing? Uh, do we do suppressing strike, or do we just snipe him? Let's just snipe him. There he goes. Um... That has been stuck in my head for years. I had actually kind of forgotten about it. I was just like, where was that from? And then, like, sometimes I'd remember it was Darkest Dungeon, and sometimes I wouldn't. This is a good game, though. Uh, do we get rid of the money? Do we get rid of the... blood? Actually... Let's get rid of the torches. At this point, we don't we don't need them. Yeah, we're done. Okay, so seeing as we're done, we got scouting. Unless it's like something very worth going for. Okay, it is not. So let's pop the uh, firewood first. Have a big old feast. Work on de-stressing everybody. Okay, so we've got self only scouting chance. None of these are good. Man's best friend. Therapy dog. Encourage this guy. We all get out of here with zero stress. Triage, Restrain Crossbow. Abandon Hope. No. Well, that, I guess we'll do triage. Oh, triage is a whole party thing. Well, that's useful. 
I guess we could have gotten uh, ambushed there. Oh well. Glittering and we get goodies. And we leave. Paid for in blood. Yeah, I really like the narrator's uh, voice for this game. He is kind of awesome. Okay, so Fred's up to level three. He's flagellant, though. Photomania. Works great. Weak grip on life. Okay, so we got some things we got to get rid of here. Okay, just for giggles, Arbalist, Antiquarian, Abomination, and Hellion. Oh, I think I know what that's going to be. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, goofy names. So... Arbalist, Hellion, Abomination, and Antiquarian. Oh, do we have to do it in that order? Yep, thought so. Ah! <laughs> that is a good team name. I like that. Okay. So these guys picked up some problems. Like Tapeworm. And did she pick up anything? Weak grip on life. Flagellant ain't bad. I'll live with flagellant. We can get rid of that later. Okay. Uh, let's see. Shocker. Don't care that much. Heal bot. If I remember right, heal bot. No, it was Clubia. Clubia had picked up some real serious problems. Want to work on her. Okay, so stress is looking... Actually, stress is like the least uh, serious problem I have I have to deal with here, which is kind of nice. We should probably do a run with um, Caboose. 